good morning good afternoon good evening from whichever location you are watching this video so again a very quick update on the design pattern training so what we did last week you know last uh, two weeks you know what we have done is uh, we talked about the philosophy of architecting we talked about uh, you know the classification philosophy then we talked about object oriented programming uh, we talked about solid principles we talked about aggregation composition association and we started with domain driven development you know uh, we talked about domain driven development ubiquitous language and we talked about entity objects value objects and services right now what we'll be discussing in the coming times is we'll be talking about bounded context domains and subdomains and so on right and then we will gradually connect to design patterns we'll start with gang of four patterns some important gang of four patterns and non gang of four patterns right and uh, very quickly guys you know in the last lecture i talked about ddd that is domain driven development uh domain driven development and ubiquitous language if you remember i talked about these two concepts and these two concepts really really excite me so let me talk about these two concepts in a very precise and a concise way out here right what is ddd you know ddd is nothing but it is a software design approach you know wherein you try to write your code exactly like your domain you try to write your code exactly how the end user thinks uh you know he is looking at the domain right for example now look at this i have this small requirement out here customer has a name address and a unique customer id customer comes to the shop and buys products every product has a name and description and an amount and we have other types of customers who are client and so on so basically you have this small requirement out here and then someone says okay can you go and write a code for this can you go and model this right so we'll say okay customer has a name address and a unique customer id so here it is you'll say okay public class so we have a customer we have a client right and uh, what does the client have the client has a name okay so he can have a uh, must be a first name right and uh, he can have a last name he can have a middle name right so first name and you will say he has a last name he has an address okay so i'll just create an address right uh, and uh, then you can see uh, uh, so address uh, and uh, it has and you have a unique customer id fine so i'll just say okay uh, let me make an an uh, 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 id a unique uh, a unique number out here right for the client or we can say client unique id right and uh, the customer buys products and so on right so you can see uh, you have written a class you know for this requirement now you are doing object oriented programming definitely you have said that you know for the you are you are actually using a class you are using properties right you are technically doing object oriented programming but you are not doing ddd you are not doing ddd what like what does ddd say ddd says that says that follow the domain exactly right if you see out here look at the requirement the requirement says customer has name address and unique customer id but what you did is you created a class here called as a client which is okay a client synonymically means a customer it means one and the same thing but you know from the domain perspective you know they are saying customer so how about going and saying okay this is a customer exactly like how your end user is speaking exactly like how your domain person is speaking look at it like so customer has a name he just said name but you went ahead and you put lot of things you put first name and last name and so on so just follow him must be you know the first name and last name everything comes into the name right so i'll just say name i'll remove this right follow exactly what he is saying right very simple it looks very simple right uh, but we engineers we software engineers you know try to over architect it we try to overload with our own thought process and our own dreamy ideas right and look at the head like so it says and a unique customer id he said a unique customer id but you named it as a client unique id which is right you know but it is not going with the same vocabulary of the end user so i'll say okay this is a unique customer id so i'm just saying this is a customer id right now if you see out here what did i do actually i'm trying to use the same vocabulary i'm trying to come 
to the same vocabulary of what my domain expert is saying what my customer is saying so if my customer is saying customer i have written customer if my customer is saying name i am just writing out name out here if my customer is saying unique customer id i am just putting customer id we are developing a common vocabulary between the technical team and the domain team this is termed as a ubiquitous language a ubiquitous language is nothing but where the technical team and the domain team agree on a common vocabulary right so basically if he says uh, you know id then you say id if he says customer then you say customer if you if he says client then you say client right we don't talk about multiple things out here because if your vocabulary is not in sync you know then the gap between both the customer and the technical person will keep widening and then at one moment of time you know the requirement is the requirement is diluted or i will say rather there can be confusion when you are getting the requirements further right so that is domain driven development in short ddd is nothing but it is a design process is a design approach where you try to do exactly what the customer is thinking what your domain person is thinking and the most important pillar for ddd is or the stepping pillar for ddd is ubiquitous language the end user and you arrive to a common vocabulary now it is very important that you know it's not like that you know you have to go and sit like hey like let's follow ubiquitous language no not like that but you know over the period of time you know when you are discussing with each other you correct yourself if like if he says okay so this is a customer and you are saying client then let's auto correct let's let's come on come on the common ground so don't try to force yourself and say that okay we have to follow ubiquitous language it should be natural it should be agreed upon it should be democratic right so that's a very small short discussion about ddd i hope you like it right uh, so very quickly guys tomorrow is saturday and sunday please do attend my lectures right and tomorrow we are continuing with ddd and i'm going to go and talk about a very important concept called as bounded context bounded context domain and subdomain right so happy learning happy job hunting thank you